Hello and welcome. This is Rufo Monger. My friends, Capcom decided to put out a little bit of a guide, a little character preview for Rashid. And I figure in this video, let's go over it because some things you would expect out of Rashid. You know, some things aren't really a mystery, but some things are very surprising. Like left me looking at the screen going, wait, what? So I figure in this video, let's just break down all the interesting info we now have learned about Rashid in Street Fighter VI before his launch on the 24th. Now, Spinning Mixer is for the most part Spinning Mixer, right? Kind of as you remember it in Street Fighter V, except for this one major, major detail right here. He beat the jump, right? Doesn't look like much. But he beat the cross up jump. And no, he didn't like cross cut or switch sides and face the correct side. When the move is over, he actually turns to face Luke and then correct his side, right? So if you're not aware, basically every anti-air move in this game is hard coded to not beat cross ups. It's more obvious on some moves than others, like say Zangief spinning Lariat infamously cannot touch a cross up at all in this game, even when Zangief's arms clearly go through people. But yeah, that's the case for basically every reversal in this game. The little helpful text at the bottom states that this is going to be the dedicated anti-air, so you have to assume it has some sort of anti-air invincibility. Which means if it can beat cross ups, it's already the best anti air in the game, like basically out of the gate. And well, on top of that, the regular EX version of the move is full invincible. So defensively, Rashid is doing better than a lot of the cast. The boy is doing very all right for himself. Now, as for Eagle Spike, so classic returning move for Rashid, still does the thing, right? It's still a flying kick across the entirety of the screen. And yes, it can go very literally full screen, as you can see here. But the scary part, look at this silly nonsense on block. The amount of pushback. This is basically Blanka Ball 2.0. And uh, unlike Blanka, this probably won't need charge, right? This will almost certainly be a motion move. So it might be the case where a handful of characters might be able to punish this. Uh, but just given Luke's general recovery and the space, it looks like against a lot of the cast, this is going to be pretty safe on block, which is going to be silly. Also stating that, you know, it's just good for combos all in all, which makes sense, right? Uh, a good amount of corner carry as well, as you can see here in the, some of the later examples, you can easily force the opponent to the corner and then do the usual corner shenanigans from there. And sure enough, the enhanced version is your combo monkey move. And if you use it, you can either get out of jail and go to the other side of the screen or get easy combo follow-ups. Rashid's projectile returns, and just like before, it kind of arcs upward, and the different buttons you press can change the arcs. Now, the one thing here is it's holdable. So if you hold the button here, he'll kind of spin in place a little bit longer, and the projectile will gain multiple hits, as you can see there. So not only does it provide the usual space control that it does, enhancing it by holding it also increases the hits and the damage, and by delaying your timing, you can mess with neutral a fair bit. You may notice here as well, and what is seemingly the heavy charge version, it also creates that secondary tornado. So what that does, if you do various moves through it, it'll turbocharge your moves. So not only do you get the projectile off, you also enhance your next bit of offense. So Rashid's doing pretty all right. Now, keeping up with the crazy, the EX version of the move creates a fast, multiple hitting projectile that travels across the screen and it creates a juggle okay state after the fact. And yes, you can combo into it as you can see here. So suffice it to say, Rashid has the utility in spades. Now here's one of his new moves. This is the Arabian Cyclone. So by itself, it's not much as the kick followed up with a very short range whirlwind, but it has multiple follow-up options. Specifically, these were effectively his V skills from Street Fighter V. So one of the options to follow up with is effectively his V skill too. As you do the move, you have to do the base move to begin with and shoot the little mini whirlwind as well. But afterwards you can follow up and one of them, he just flies through the sky. He's effectively airborne. You can do a jumping normal follow up and then get whatever you want from there. So almost like a King of Fighters short hop or something like that, just out of the gate. Very easy to combo into and just basically do with it what you will. And on the flip, as the one option takes you to the air, the other option is the classic original V skill where he can roll across the ground. And of course, naturally enough, you can do various things out of the roll. Now, one thing they highlight is specifically if you do the heavy Arabian Cyclone and then go into the roll, if they block, you're plus on block. So you can just go first and do whatever you want to do, which is very strong. Rashid probably going to have a lot of sources of plus frames. And naturally, Rashid retains the ability to do an attack out of the roll. So if you get a hit confirm going on or whatever, 
the options are there and you can just roll into the big kick. Now for the enhanced version, it creates that little bit of a whirlwind in place that can turbocharge your moves as we've seen earlier. So you can let it rock, but you should probably use it, right? And in this example here, spinning mixer gets supercharged when you go into it through the little whirlwind. Much the same here, we go to use an eagle spike through the whirlwind and you can see it connects, hits Luke and then just rips him all the way back, making it extra safe it would seem. Another new move for the arsenal is the Arabian Sky High and just look at this nonsense. Uh, <laughs> He's a Marvel character or something. He's like Sentinel. He's just in the sky so much. Like, look at the way he can move. So this gives him all sorts of air control. And with all sorts of air control comes all sorts of tricks and gimmicks. So with your ability to double jump, you can change all your jump arcs and angles and really mess up people's anti-air timings, to say the least. And you can even use it in air-to-air -air combos. So what's not to love? So as you would expect, the buttons you press affect the strength of the move, right? And he can go either a fairly shallow arc or depending on the button pressed, he can go basically the entire length of the screen. So the right button for the right gimmick. Naturally enough as well, you can enhance it. And that also changes things up here and gives you a kind of spike down follow up. And one very interesting thing here is it looks like the enhanced version can combo from other enhanced moves. That's enhanced spinning mixer comboed into enhanced Arabian Sky High. The enhanced version also has exceptional air control, so you can basically go about as far or as little as you want, depending on what works out best for you. His level one super, the Super Rashid Kick, nothing we didn't know already basically, but if you land a decent clean hit, you'll get a nice little mini cinematic versus just the big flying kick. So it looks cool, there's that. Now his level two super, this is where it's at, as this is effectively is his Street Fighter V V-Trigger returning, the big old tornado that eats up a lot of real estate. And like Street Fighter V, doing moves through the tornado can change things up. And yes, you can still do the classics like tornado, eagle spike, they can't really do anything about it because then they gotta block the tornado, all that stuff's still there. Now one thing, after the main tornado is done, it does leave the whirlwind that buffs moves behind. So an example here with this combo, you can see the super enhanced spinning mixer. All movement through the tornado gets a buff. So as you can see here, uh, the dash becomes the run. You can back dash through it as well and like super jump through it. There's gonna be all sorts of fun things to play around with. Not the least of which is say you actually land it in a combo, right? Then things like the enhanced spinning mixer are guaranteed. So here's the one that made me sit up straight in my seat because this whole sequence is bananas on multiple levels. Okay, so does the level two super, that's the easy part. Then he does Arabian Cyclone. Arabian Cyclone, the beginning part of it with the kick, can kick the tornado from the level two super into the enemy, which Lily obviously wasn't ready for, gets hit by. And then this whole nonsense afterwards. So after he does the Arabian Cyclone here to kick the tornado, he then uses the whirlwind follow-up from it to use his effective V skill two to fly to Lily and land right there and then re-combo out. EX Spinning Mixer using the whirlwind the tornado leaves, so it's even better than normal and then cancels the EX Spinning Mixer into the EX Double Jump, which connects, which gives the giant splat eagle spike follow-up. So yeah, that's a lot of nonsense in a very short amount of time. Rashid can do some things. Not the least of it this sequence, so after the tornado, uses his movement to get enhanced and can cross over on the other side and sandwich Lily between himself and the tornado, which just is wacky, man. Now, comparatively, the level three is pretty plain, right? It's the big fancy move, that if it hits you, you get the big fancy cinematic super, does a lot of damage, I'm sure, but it's just big damage, right? It doesn't lead to any of the nonsense like the tornado setup on the screen does. Given what we've been looking at, it looks like the level two super is probably gonna be the one you're gonna go for, unless you already have the meter and the level three is gonna win the game regardless. The level two is back with even more tricks than before. And that's Rashid, and I gotta say, everything I've seen so far, and now this especially, I gotta wonder, like, is there any way Rashid's just not great? Like, maybe he has, like, just absolute awful frame data or something? Time will tell, but for now, he definitely looks very, very strong. And that all said, though, my friends, that's the end of the video. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well. And go out and play some Street Fighter.